In order to get started, make sure to download these assets from the bonus section and you will see the uh, shooter multiplayer.zip file and the new assets.zip file as well. So I want you to just unzip both of them. The first shooter-multiplayer.zip is the Unity project. It's coming from another course that's uh, creating a 3D shooter. So it's a one player, so single player game where you control um, some kind of an Iron Man robot to uh, kill some uh, spider mini Spider-Mans and also unzip the new assets. Now, before we even get started, let's take a look at this inside of Unity. What I want you to do is bring up Unity. Once you do so, go ahead and click on Open and locate the um, project that we just unzipped. Mine's inside of Unity Project Multiplayer, and here it is, Shooter-Multiplayer, and click on Open. All right, this might take a while, depending on uh, which computer you have. Here it is. Now, if somehow you do not see this scene, that's no problem. You can go to the Assets and locate the scene-Iron Man. Double click here, and this will open. Once this is done, click on Play, and make sure you can actually play the game. All right, so as you can see, there's a score, and we control this character, and there's the, the health bar here. So I can move the character, and as you can see, there's many of uh, little Spider-Man, I just like, can, can click and kill them all. Now here, I'm inside of the PC version, so it's very easy to control. And if you're not, you can always click on File, and then Build Settings, and make sure you go to the PC, Mac, and Linux version. If uh, somehow you want to play it on iOS, go for it, or Android, go for it and change it and, and play with it. The controls are cross-platform, meaning that this game is ready to be played on any, um, any platforms out there, whether it's PC Linux or even uh, mobile platforms. All right, having said so, go ahead, feel free to play with it. But as you can see, there is only one character, and the purpose is to kill the enemies here. But in a multiplayer game, that's definitely not what you want. You want to have NPC characters, which are these characters as well, like the Spider-Man ones. But we don't want to we, we don't want to fight them. We want to fight real characters. So we want to fight other robots, like other Iron Man robots. And that's what we're going to need to do. Now, in order to do so, there's plenty of stuff that we're going to have to get rid of, such as, let's say, the score, because it's not going to be a score about killing the enemies. It's going to be killing the uh, player characters. And the health bar is not going to be here because What's going on here is that the other character will not see this health bar. You need to place the health bar on top of your character so that every player that play the game can see how much health you have left and you can see how much health everyone has left. Having said so, let's go ahead and we need to clean this up to make it into um, a multiplayer game. Now, feel free to save what you have right now and make a copy of this. Now, just know that you can make a game that's going to be offline and online mode, meaning that you can do multiplayer and also single player. But for the sake of learning, I'm not going to go into creating multiplayer and single player. I'm going to go straight into multiplayer. Now you can create two different scenes, have a, a scene that's made for multiplayer and a scene that's made for single player. This scene is already created for single player. Now make sure that you're not using the same script. If, um, if you want to use two different scenes, you have to create different scripts for each scene. Having said so, let's get started. 